So, let's start off with your characters and a little bit about them. So, Eve, I'll start with you. Uh, my character is Terry, and she is a barber in the barbershop. Um, she's been there for a while, um, but she's evolved a lot in this um, in this barber the barbershop movie. Um, and yeah, she's married. She has a kid. She has another business outside of the barbershop, and yeah, she's doing well. Good, Regina. And uh, I play a character uh, named Angie, and Angie is new to the shop because uh, the shop is now unisex. And she has merged her um, salon with Calvin's Barbershop, even though it's not Calvin and Angie's, which I have a problem yeah, with. We, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, um, she's, uh, she's um, Calvin's partner now. So, Eve, you've been obviously a part of the franchise. So what brought you back to it? Was it when you heard that it was coming around again, were you right on board again? Honestly, I wasn't right on board, but mm -hmm. I was interested mm -hmm. in the way of like, you know, I talked to one of the producers and, and once I read the script and, and heard about the new crop of people that were coming back, you know, the fresh faces that were coming in, it was a no-brainer. Yeah. It was an easy decision after that. Yeah. And Regina, what attracted you to the role? Well, I, I liked the original. I liked the franchise. And so um, when I read it and I thought it had a lot of amazing messages and I was like, oh, I get to be Cube's, not boss, but he can't boss me. <laughs> <laughs> now, you have a great cast here, a lot of very talented from all different backgrounds. You obviously spent a lot of time together in probably a small space shooting, but w did you have a lot of freedom to sort of bring your own thing into your characters? I mean, obviously, yours has grown, so you your character has grown from where it was, and you're a new character. So were you given the freedom to sort of Felt build like your character? We were, yeah. 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 I think Malcolm did. I think Malcolm was great in that way of, like, he obviously knew what he wanted and, and wanted to show, but at the same time, I think he allowed us to mm -hmm. kind of be what we needed to be in the character, mm -hmm. um, which was great. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I agree, too. I mean, I think he allowed us to find, you know, especially – some of us that were new to found, to find out, you know, who we were, and then with the original characters to find out where they are now. Mm. You know what I mean? Really mm -hmm. to fi to figure out because he was new to this as well, mm -hmm. and so he came, you know, with with more of a um, an outlook to see, okay, where are we? What do you guys think? And yeah. we had rehearsal and yeah. we talked a Which lot was really before nice before we started. Yeah. Now let's talk about your actual professions in this film. Did you have to do any training so that you looked like you knew what you were doing and cutting hair? Yeah, we did. We went to beauty and barber school. Mm -hmm. You did. We yeah. did. Yeah. I think we're pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I do. I actually do. Mm -hmm. I yeah. could do some things. Yeah. Now this obviously has, it's a comedy, but it's got, it, it, uh, it uh, approaches some serious subjects, but there's a great balance to it. So did you have that in mind when, when you were, you know, thinking of your characters and, and just the collaboration with the other group, how, how did, how was it balanced out so perfectly? I mean, I think mm -hmm. that's life, though. Mm -hmm. Life is always pretty much balanced with, com I mean, if you were all, you know, like, we've had moments where you talk about serious things yeah. and someone says something to make you laugh to break it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's just, and, and then the way out, Malcolm did it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And working with Malcolm, you've worked with him in the past, mm -hmm. correct? So mm -hmm. you kind of knew his style. What what kind of style does he have as a director? I honestly, I think he's great. I do. I think obviously he's great with an ensemble, um, and but like I said before, just just him being able to kind of he was he was strong when he needed to be strong, but he laid back when he felt like he could lay back. You know, he allowed the comedians to kind of riff when they wanted to, but then he was you know, very serious about those moments when he, you know, he'd come in and say, guys, this, we need to let this part live. This needs to be a serious situation. And, um, I think his directing style, I think it's really good. Yeah. It was very comfortable for me. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> now, why do you think these barbershop films resonate so much with people? I think it just is familiar. You know, it feels like home. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Everyone really can relate to what it's like to be in the barbershop, what it's like to get your hair done. I mean, and that's all races. I mean, you know, we may get one thing done and then uh, someone else gets something else, you know, color. I mean, it's it's kind of the place where you go and it's it's a real unveiling and everyone mm -hmm. is just sits. It, it's, if you're in the barbershop, it's not, you know, it's not like how much money you make or no. where you're from. You're, you're just all in, yeah. the same level. Yeah. 
Interesting. So what do you hope audiences take away from the film? Eve? That we do hair? No, I'm joking. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Um, Just, yeah, there's a lot of love, community, yeah, empowerment, yeah, mm -hmm. forgiveness, forgiveness. Yeah, you know, um, and I do hope that people feel like I, mean, I think this barbershop movie is so. And I think why they've all done well actually is because they've all been current in the moment, in that moment in time. Mm -hmm. um, so hopefully people see this and they say, you know what, they did a great job. We didn't, they didn't try to over embellish or under embellish. They were right on target yeah. with. You know, whatever it is we, we are talking good, about. It's a real family thing because yeah. there's your family, the yeah. family of the barbershop, yeah. Cube's family. Yeah. It's like we're, it's all different kinds of families. The yeah. community that's a family. It's all, you know, what is family? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. All everything is family where there's yeah. love. No, yeah. that's that's good and that's a great way to end it. So thank you so much. Thank, thank it was you. Great.